Today, I'm going to show you my portfolio on Trading212. I'll explain what different stocks I'm holding, and perhaps we can make these videos a monthly occurrence so you can follow along with my investing journey. With that said, let's grab a coffee and get right into it. Trading212 is a free to use trading app. If you want to sign up to use Trading212, then you can use my referral link in the description. It gives you a free stock, but it also gives me a free stock when you sign up and deposit the minimum of one pound. One other thing to mention is that I think there's currently a waiting list for new accounts. So another trading app that I'd like to suggest that's also free is Free Trade. They also offer a similar referral scheme just like Trading212, so if you use my link in the description, then you'll also get a free stock. Just remember to make that minimum deposit of one pound. Now, let's get into the portfolio. Maybe this isn't a great day to look at my portfolio. It doesn't make me look great, but this is a brand new account and you wouldn't really expect it to be up anyway. So as you can see, there's 2,500 pounds in the account. Currently, I have a return of minus £67.92, which is a negative 2.6%. But don't worry about the percentage return, it doesn't really mean much. And for a couple of the stocks in here, the return is actually way higher. I had them in a previous account on Revolut, and I've had to sell the stocks to move them over because there was no other way to transfer them. So the two stocks that I sold on Revolut and then repurchased on Trading212 were Apple and Carnival. So Apple, I bought one of the shares for $79 last year, and then I bought another one this year for $126. So the real return would actually be much better than that. A good thing to point out here might be that the price in here is in pounds, whereas the price that I'm talking about I bought them for was in dollars. So here we can see it's in dollars. I bought one at $126, so around about here somewhere. And the previous one was bought for $79, so that's around about here. I think that was some, yeah, sometime in May. For Carnival, I have nine shares. I bought all nine shares for around eight, nine dollars. So that was last year around about May, I think. Somewhere around about there. Now let's have a look at the rest of the portfolio. So I have a big mix of stocks in here. I wanted to kind of generally go for blue chip stocks or just stocks that I quite like the look of that I knew and hoped that they would perform well over the next while. So AT&T is kind of a utility, a good dividend stock. B&M is sort of a home and DIY store that we have here in the UK. I have one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock. That's Warren Buffett's investment fund. Carnival we mentioned. eBay, the online auction site. Just a stock that I think will perform well over the long run. Etsy, another online marketplace like eBay or Amazon. Again, a tech stock that I think in the long run will perform quite well. Gore's Holding 6. This is an investment company that holds Matterport. Matterport, you might have heard of, they do 3D scanning. The good, interesting thing about Matterport is the software they have. It allows you to virtually and seamlessly walk through and navigate through a property. So you might know that I'm interested in property. So this one really interests me. Invesco EQQ NASDAQ, that's an ETF. iShares Global Clean Energy Fund, another ETF. Kingfisher, that's the parent company of B&Q, a hardware store that we have here in the UK. Lemonade is a property insurance company. They're based in the United States. NatWest Group, formerly RBS Group, is one of the major banks here in the UK. One share of Procter & Gamble, a holding company for many, many brands that are sold all over the globe. You'll have heard of a lot of these. Rolls-Royce. They of course make cars, but they also make engines. Many of the products they make are used in military products, so they're vital for national security. Another couple of ETFs, so the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets and the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. And finally, the last one there, I've got one share of Volkswagen. So now let's have a look at the allocation, how much I have of everything in this. You can see the majority of it is made up by the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. That gives me some good whole of market exposure. Next, the other ETF there, we move down, got around 6%, 5% of quite a few different stocks there. Apple, Berkshire Hathaway, Carnival, the other iShares, Clean Global, ETF, Volkswagen, Etsy, and then the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets there as well. So the allocation for some of these stocks is not really that specific sometimes. It's only really specific for the makeup of the ETFs that I've got in here. A lot of the stocks might just look like 5 or 6% because I've specifically bought one or two or three shares. There's not really a real logic to that. As we move down, smaller allocations for things like Rolls-Royce, Procter & Gamble, Lemonade, and again, no real reason for that. That just happens to be how many shares that I purchased at the time. And the last few shares there at the bottom. Now, going back, if we go over to pies, you can see I have an ETF pie that I've set up here. Currently down, unfortunately. But if we open it up, we can have a look at what I've got going on. So the goal is apparently 1.39 million. That's based on my automatic regular deposit I've set up of £100 a month. You can see that here. Now looking at holdings, 
So 588 pounds and 62 pence. That's the amount of money that I've got spread across the ETFs at the moment. But you can see the slices of the pie here. So I've allocated 50% of my 100 pounds each month to go to the S&P 500 ETF, another 22% to the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF. iShares Global Clean Energy gets 14% and the Invesco EQQ NASDAQ gets 14%. So yeah, I set it to automatically deposit £100 into these ETFs every single month, and I'll be investing that £100 indefinitely. So yeah, unfortunately the portfolio doesn't look great at the moment, but I'm in this for the long run, and I want to buy ETFs generally, that's the main point of this, this is my ISA after all, and I don't intend to take any money out of my ISA for decades to come. With this, I'm really investing for the long run. And you can see that by the fact that I pick ETFs, I want to expose myself to as much of the market as possible, but really it's going to be for a long time. With that said, it should mean that my money should be quite safe, and of course, like I said, I don't intend to withdraw any money from this ISA for the time being. The Trading 2 and 2 ISA is great, and I really love that there's no fees. Don't forget that if you also want to sign up for Trading 2 and 2, then you should definitely use my promo code in the description. It'll give us both a free share when you deposit £1 or more. If you've enjoyed this video or found it interesting, and want to see another update in the future, then make sure to hit the like button. And it's also greatly appreciated if you can subscribe, there are plenty more videos to come. Thanks for watching.